In the world of college basketball, Arizona coach Lute Olson. Still to come, we have the comments of Mr. Kellogg and Mr. Walton, as well as one shining moment when we come back to Minneapolis right after this. Remind you once again, coming up tonight here on CBS, after your late local news, The Late Show with David Letterman, Dave's guest Craig Kilborn, and Jerry, the latest Survivor castaway that's coming up tonight here on CBS. We welcome you back inside the Metrodome, where Duke has beaten Arizona for the national championship by a score of 82 to 72. Greg Gumbel along with Clark Kellogg and Bill Walton. Let's take a look at the highlights, and we'll pick it up in the second half, uh, where Duke really began to assert itself. Mike Dunleavy with his first second half three-pointer, and then Dunleavy Dunleavy from long range again. Defense by Battier is going to lead to a third consecutive three by Dunleavy. Duke up by 10, but Arizona mounts a rally. Lauren Woods, two of his game high 22. It's a two point game, but Dunleavy again pushes the lead to double digits with another three. Now, Richard Jefferson began to catch fire. He had 19 points. He hits another one here, four out of eight from behind the three, but Shane Battier with the dunk helped secure it. It was a five point lead. Duke won it by 10. Coach Mike Krzyzewski gets a hug from Shane Battier, and why not? This is championship number three for Mike Krzyzewski, and on the list of most national titles, he ranks tied for number three. Let's get some thoughts on this game, and I'll begin with you, Bill, and I'm wondering if you can separate yourself from the emotion that you must feel being the father of one of the young men on the losing side of the ball. But isn't that where life's greatest lessons are learned? What we saw from the Duke Blue Devils today was a beautiful display of championship-level basketball, the style, the competitive greatness. Everybody talks about Duke's offense and the threes, but what about their defense? What about their rebounding, the discipline that they showed them? On the offensive end, Duke's guard penetration. Arizona was unable to stop that. Then the kick out, feeding Dunleavy time and time again. When they got the ball in the post, they would look and they would dish. The guys cover, cutting from the weak side, absolutely beautiful here. The balanced attack, everybody for Duke absolutely competing beautifully. And then the solid defensive rebounding was all right there. This was about the team game for Duke. This was about the exquisite skill and the unparalleled physical conditioning a most deserving champion yeah. Duke University. Clark, I thought that Duke was a model of consistency from start to finish tonight. You know, I really thought the difference was obviously the Dunleavy three-point barrage, but more importantly, it seemed to me, Greg, that Duke came up with every big play, every loose ball they needed in the second half, every nice opportunity to score against Arizona's defense, which was overreacting. They played extremely well, especially when they needed to get it done with the tough hustle plays. I just think Duke made more of those, and that's why they're the deserving champs. All right, you guys were superb as always. We'll take one final time out here, and then when we come back to the Metrodome, one shining moment to top off this national championship. Back at the Metrodome, Duke. 82, Arizona 72. Coming up tonight on CBS, your late local news, followed by a late show with David Letterman. CBS Sports coverage of the Masters begins with late night highlights this Thursday and Friday at 11.35 Eastern Time. Live third round coverage gets underway on Saturday at 3.30 Eastern. Sunday's final round coverage comes your way at 4 Eastern Time. And we add our congratulations to the Blue Devils. Tonight's national championship victory, Duke's third NCAA title, is further testimony to the class and quality of their basketball program and in particular to the coaching skills of one Mike Krzyzewski. We also tip our hats to Lute Olson and his Wildcats. Their season-long tribute to the coach's late wife, Bobby, kept the team together to the last. Now it's time to lower the curtain on CBS Sports' 20th year of tournament coverage and to thank the men and women who made it possible for us to bring you the many shining moments of this year's NCAA tournament. For there Clark Kellogg, Bill Walton, and for all of us here at CBS Sports, I'm Greg Gumbel. So long from Minneapolis.
ball is tipped There you are You're running for your life well, You're a shooting star All the years No one knows Just how hard you worked But now it shows One shining moment It's all Time is short and the road is long In the picking of an eye All that moment's gone when it's done Win or lose, you always did your best Cause inside you knew That one shining moment you reached deep inside Feel the beat of your heart Feel the wind in your face It's more than a contest It's more than a Tonight on the Emmy Award-winning Late Show, Dave welcomes host of the Late Late Show, Craig Kilborn. Plus, music from Warren Zevon and the latest Survivor Castaway. It's all new Dave tonight. 